happy saturday it is january 13th i just made myself a delicious oatmeal bowl and i'm gonna watch some youtube and just eat it is 8 39 right now i already went on my walk and everything so feeling good we're gonna watch some youtube and Tonight is gonna be really fun. I'm going to my friend's 18th birthday party. That'll be really exciting. It's literally bell themed and it's her 18th birthday. So I love that for her. <laughs> She's like obsessed with Beauty and the Beast right now. So it's Beauty and the Beast name, I guess, but whatever. I'm very excited. So I am going to eat and just enjoy it. <laughs> also this next week is finals week, which means I don't even have to go to school like all week next week, except one time for my AP Gov midterm, so. I basically have another winter break and I'm so excited. So I just finished breakfast and I'm literally just gonna read for a really long time right now because I just am really in the mood. And I am reading The Things We Leave Unfinished by Rebecca Yaros. And she also wrote Fourth Wing, which I really wanna read, but my friend got me this book for Secret Santa and I've been reading it. I'm like pretty far through it. I'm almost done actually. I'm on page 315. So I probably will finish it honestly, like right now, but okay. I don't know, like, I feel like it has such amazing reviews on Goodreads and everything, but why is it, like, giving me the ick a little bit? I don't know if it's, like, I'm not in a romance mood. Not even the whole book. It's, like, certain parts. Just, like, the main guy is, like, giving me the ick. Because I hate in books, like, romance books when, or just, like, any book, but, like, mainly it's in romance, but when, like, the guy or the girl or whoever describes the person they like like only talks about like their looks it just gives me the it he keeps saying everything about her like body and like how she looks and i'm like i just don't like like when that's like all they talk about and it's not all that they talk about but i don't like when they like use that as why they like them and also at one part he was like like he like described her like body or something or like something about her way she looks and then he was like, how could a man ever cheat on a woman like her? Mm, I just, how could a man ever cheat on a woman, period? Why are we saying like her? Nobody should cheat on anyone. Like, I know he's trying to be like very like sweet about, like I know that's like a nice thing to say, I guess. The way I'm reading it, I'm just like, you didn't have to say that right after you described the way she looked. Because it's not about the way she looks. It's about her personality. Sorry. I'm just like getting into it a little too much. But I don't know. It just keeps happening in this book a little bit. And I don't know. I also might just not be in like the bromance mindset or something. But like everything he keeps saying is like they're both doing it. Even the girl's doing it actually. She, They're both like just talking about their looks. And I'm like it's not the most important thing. Like I just can't. I don't know. And it's like I'm confused how it has such good reviews. Because I'm like is nobody else like picking up on that? Like I don't know. But I'm going to keep reading it. And this book goes back and forth between two different romances. And I like the one, but then the other one where they keep describing each other, like their looks, I don't like. But I like the other one. So it's like, I'm probably gonna finish it and I'll let you know my thoughts. Okay. I finished the book and some things actually happened near the end there that actually like were really good and it made it a lot better. But I still don't know if I can like give it like a four. Like I'm between a three and a four stars. I don't know like, because that was, like, a good, like, something really good just happened. But I don't know if that, like, justifies, like, a four. Or if I should still just give it a three. Because I really just, like, I don't know what it was, but, like, something. I don't know. This is hard. I'll have to think on it a little more. But I'm between a three and a four. It was actually good. Like, it was good, but I already explained to you why I didn't love it. So I'm not going to go over that again. But it was good. And there was something good that happened. So, but I feel like I still have to give it a three just because like, I feel like I couldn't give it a four because it's not like I'd be like recommending it so much to everyone. So I'll probably give it a three, but. Hey right, guys, so it's like 11 right now and I'm going to film a every single five star book I read in 2023 video because I don't know, I thought that'd be kind of fun. And if you want to see every five star book I read, the video should already be up by the time this is posted, so it'll be literally the last video on my channel if you haven't seen it. And yeah, I just thought this would be fun because like, 
I don't know, it'll be like good recommendations, I guess, like some of my favorite books. And I just love talking about books. So I'm gonna film that right now. I have my little setup right here on my iPad. I have like a picture of every single book and then a little tripod. And I don't know why this book is sitting here. I might use it for the thumbnail, I don't know. This is not part of it. Like, I didn't even read that this year, but I'll just like, maybe I'll hold it open or something for the thumbnail, I don't know. I'm gonna film that, that's why I got in this little sweater. But I am in fact wearing sweatpants, but you won't see that, so it's fine. And yeah, so I'm gonna film that right now. And I'm very excited because I love talking about books. Although the thing is, I feel like I'm not even gonna remember like the full details of some of these books because like some of them are from all the way back a whole entire year ago, like last January. So I'm gonna do my best to try to remember what they're about. But yeah, if you need some good book recommendations, that video should have some good ones. I just filmed the book video. It was like all over the place. I feel like it was a mess. I'm not looking forward to editing it, but it's fine. I got right back in my pajamas, as I should. I am now gonna work on this puzzle that I started like a little bit of, um, I started this like a week ago when my friend came over, we started it together and we barely did any of it. So I'm gonna work on this because I'm kind of like getting back my puzzle era, I guess. If you watched me over the summer, I was obsessed with these puzzles. Like I did one like every day. So now we're gonna do this. So I've been working on my puzzle for a little and now I'm gonna make some lunch and I'm so excited. I'm having my favorite lunch ever. I literally eat this every weekend, but it will just, I think it'll always be my favorite. So we're having it again. So I always have some carrots and hummus on the side and the only hummus I'll eat is roasted red pepper. It doesn't have to be this brand, just like roasted red pepper hummus. It needs to have some sort of flavor I don't like like plain hummus and I love carrots. So, got some of these, beautiful. I feel so guilty for like being alone on the weekend sometimes, but it's like literally I'm going to my friend's party tonight and last night I went out to dinner with friends. Like, why do I feel like I need to be hanging out with people even though I don't want to? Like, not that I don't want to, but like, I mean like, it's not like I want to always be hanging out with people, but for some reason I feel like I should be hanging out with people like all the time. Oh, you're literally going to a party tonight. Not a party, but like a birthday party. Like, I need to stop feeling guilty for being alone because it just doesn't make sense. And if I'm happy, like I love being alone, so why do I feel bad? Like, I don't, it just don't make sense is all. Anyway, got my carrots and hummus. And now we're gonna make the main course. In case you're new here, it's cottage cheese pizza toast. I have some frozen sourdough bread because I like to freeze it because I know I won't eat it all before it goes bad. It's literally just like a random sourdough that they bake at the grocery store. But my favorite sourdough bread, I'll put a picture. They don't sell it though at the one grocery store that I usually go to, so I couldn't get it, but it's my favorite. Just putting that out there. This one's still good though. So I get two pieces. These look so weirdly long. This one's a very flat, but like long. I don't know. So I just put this in my toaster. Get it nice and crispy. And I'm gonna grab all my other ingredients. Trader Joe's pesto. Trader Joe's cottage cheese. This is actually so good. And then pecorino romano cheese. And tomato. This one's already cut, but. And then I also use salt, pepper, and olive oil. So we're gonna cut four slices of tomato. I don't know why this is turning into like a tutorial, but it is. Okay, just kind of using up the rest of the tomato. Got the tomato, oh, oops. And then I use like half a cup of cottage cheese. So I'm just gonna like get that out. I never thought I would like cottage cheese, but here we are. I literally eat it every single weekend. them to cool because if you don't then like all this moisture builds under them so you have to kind of let them cool okay once they've cooled you're gonna add a layer of pesto to each one like that 
Okay, now you're adding your cottage cheese. Try to do about half on each, but whatever. And then you just kind of spread that evenly. Okay, that's that. And you add your tomatoes. Got the tomatoes. Then I add some salt. Just like a little, I don't even know why I add that, I just do. And then pepper, I kind of like, I bring the pepper with me and I add it as I go because I just love pepper on this for some reason. But I'll just do a little for now. And then we do a little drizzle of olive oil. And lastly, this cheese. Just adds some extra flair. I love Parmesan cheese, or whatever this is. Pecorino, Romano. You can also use Parmesan though. And that's literally it. Oh, and I also usually would have added, like I usually add basil but I haven't had my basil plant lately. So unfortunately no basil, but that's okay. The pesto adds a basil -y taste, so it's still really good. Also, since it's Saturday, Clancy Burke posted a new video. So I love her so much that I cannot wait to watch. This is my favorite part of the day on Saturdays when Clancy posts and I get to watch it. Oh my god, I'm watching Clancy and she just said she's reading the things we leave unfinished. And she says she doesn't really like it because she doesn't really like romance books, but that is not the right romance book to choose. Like, but still, I get why she, like, I get, like, if she doesn't like it because it's a romance, but, like, I just didn't really like it for other reasons. I mean, I liked it, but I just think it's cool that we're reading the same book. I mean, I'm done it, but, like, I think she's giving up on it anyway but I was not expecting to see that pop up on the screen. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, it's 3.46. I just actually edited the whole entire five-star book video. I was not planning to do that, but I got a burst of energy to do that. So that's what I've been doing for like an hour and my laptop's about to die, so I have to go plug it in. But I'll add music, but that's it. I did all the rough cut and text. And I don't really have to add that much music. I don't think I'm gonna have background music. So I just have to add music literally just to the outro. I actually have to start getting ready for this party soon because we're leaving at like 4.30 because it's a bit of a drive and it starts at five. So I should probably get ready in a little. My mom and sister will be home from work probably around 4.15. So my sister's gonna have to get ready really quickly and then we're gonna go. Also, the one gift we got her from Etsy did not come, unfortunately. If you watched one of my, I think it was my recent vlog, uh, like the week in my life, I showed you guys the gift we're giving her. Well, I didn't even show the thing I got on Etsy, but I'll put a picture. It's like a little keychain. Didn't come yet, but we have other stuff for her, like uh, M&M's and two Alani energy drinks. So we're just gonna give her that for now and then we'll like tell her something is coming in the mail. I wish it came, but it did not. It's like a Taylor Swift theme thing because she loves Taylor Swift, so we'll give it to her eventually, so it's fine. I actually have to like get the gift ready because we still did not sign the card or put like tissue paper in the bag. So I'm gonna do that, but I have to figure out what I'm wearing because I have literally no idea. And it's like bell themed, so I feel like I should wear yellow, but I don't have anything yellow, so. I'll figure it out. Also, one of my nails came off earlier, but I'm gonna glue it back on, so just ignore that. Yeah, I'm gonna go glue that back on, but I need to get ready.
she's in Harry Potter heaven. Oh my god, Luna and Love Good. This is the one. Oh my this god. is the um, one uh, by she makes the illustrations in the books. So each page. Uh, and it's please like, look at this guy. I want him. Wait, look. Reading Claw page. Look at the pillow. Look, they have a candle. And all the stuff. The trunks. So we just got back from the party. It was very fun. My sister and I really didn't know anyone because like all her friends are from her school. Like she does not go to our school. So we literally just kind of sat in the corner and talked to each other just the whole time. But it was still fun. We watched Descendants and Beauty and the Beast. But we passed by this really nice looking Barnes and Nobles on the way home. So we had to stop in there and we got a book. So we got Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I've literally wanted to read this forever. And my sister did too. And she said my library doesn't have it. We don't usually buy books, but we bought it because our library doesn't have it. And I'm so excited to read it. It was so nice in there though. It was very cool. But yeah, it's like 9 o'clock right now. So I'm going to just chill for the rest of the night. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm only on like page 50 something of this book, but it's literally so cute. Like so far. Oh my gosh. I'm already, I'm already loving it. so I did in fact just rip off all of my nails but I feel like I was just ready for them to be off because I want to like paint them and stuff I should probably cut them they're all like kind of jagged but they're very they're very long not very long but they're long for me okay and it's also snowing it's actually snowing even more now I don't think it's gonna stick or anything but it's pretty but I've just been reading and I'm gonna go make lunch in a minute but first i'm probably gonna go trim my nails because they're kind of like jagged but maybe i'll paint them later the snow is so pretty i love it i want to go outside and touch the snow <laughs> that it looks so big <laughs> it's so pretty oh my gosh Literally looks like a winter wonderland. Oh my god, I just ate it. Okay, I'm done. Only 17. We went to the grocery store, but I literally didn't film anything because let's just say I saw somebody who I'm not the 
exactly on speaking terms with and was very uncomfortable and I was basically just trying to avoid them the entire time and I totally just did not even think about filming like I was just trying to get in and out it was a bad experience that's all I'm gonna say but I've literally just been reading this book is so good I'm obsessed and I'm probably gonna go to bed in a little and well not really well kind of but I'm just gonna relax and chill for the rest of the night so that's gonna be it for this video i will see you in the next one peace out girl scouts